ಮಾಧುಸ್ಸಬನ್ಯಾಸ ದುರುಕ್ತಿ ವಿದ್ಧ ಸಿ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಮೋಷನ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಮಾಧು ಸಪತ್ನ್ಯ ದಿ ಮದರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಮದರ್ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಸಪತ್ನಿ ಎ ಕೋ ವೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಬೈ ದ ಸಪತ್ನಿ ಮದರ್ ಸಹ ದಟ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಸನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಸನ್ ದುರುಕ್ತಿ ವಿದ್ಧ ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಟ್ ಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೀವ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಶಾರ್ಪ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮದರ್ carrying a number of perverted and distorted arguments and reason what all things did she say it was not just a blatant remark remarks which carry a number of reasons and she has couched it in very piercing terms durukti vidha shwasan rusha dandahato yathahi the little boy felt you know how he felt a cobra who carries deadly poison in its fangs anybody whom he bites the person will die so powerful he is after all this boy is a prince born of uttanapada the fact that he is the son of the father can never be denied so the stepmother says it is not enough if you are the son of the father you have to become the son of me and me alone not your mother this is what she says so just like a huge cobra when beaten and hit by a stick shwasan rusha he started heaving heaving very heavily rusha with resentment with intolerance with anger with dislike hitvam shantam pidaram sannavajam he thought this is not a place i should stand any longer at all here is my father who cannot deny that i am his son that father right in front is seeing this episode whatever the stepmother is saying he is clearly seeing in a way he is participating also because he is silent mishantam right in his front while he is witnessing pidaram sannavajam at the same time he never opens his mouth he has closed his mouth tight lip there is no point in remaining there he decided jagama madhu prarudan sakasham instantly he decided i will go to my mother jagama maduhu how did he go crying weeping and sobbing he went to the mother madussabhnyasa durukti vidha shwasan rusha dandahato yathahi hitva mishantam pidaram sannavajam jagama maduhu prarudan sakasham imagine the five year old boy unable to bear the words nor able to act according to what she says she was he was in a predicament nevertheless he understood that this is not justice certainly an injustice thinking that it is not at all desirable to stand there any more nor en- enter into a conversation with the stepmother he instantly decided let me go to my mother and apprise her of whatever has taken place jagama maduhu prarudan sakasham how did he go cry weeping and sobbing so you can imagine a five year old boy inflicted so much by the stepmother in the presence of the father so the father's presence was virtually of no use at all he was so much subdued by one of the wives one co-wife was subduing and overpowering his mind in such a silent manner how could the child understand all this so far as he is concerned he went to sit on the lap of his father the father cannot deny that he is his son the prince so what was the wrong <coughs> and somebody is interfering and the interference is too much he is unable to understand he is completely <coughs> hit hard by the words so he immediately decided to go to the mother satyam satyam suruchya abhihitam bhavan me yad durbhagaya udare grihita ಸ್ತನ್ಯೇನ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ಚ ವಿಲಜ್ಜದೇಯಾಂ ಭಾರ್ಯೇ ದಿವ ಓಢುಂ ಇನಸ್ಪದಿರ್ಮಾಂ ಬೈ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ರೀಚ್ ದೇರ್ ಸುನೀತಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೈರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಅವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದ ಸನ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಮದರ್ ಎಂಬ್ರೇಸ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೋಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕನ್ಸೋಲಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ ನೌ ಐ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ರೈಟ್ every one of you a parent will try to do this to your child so far everything is okay the mother 
totally embracing the child giving him consoling words etc but what sunidhi spoke that makes the difference that is the message of shrimad bhagavatam initially the mother consoled the son you know the manner in which she speaks for a mother there should not be any curtain while talking to the son she was already in the same distress but there was no occasion for her to share her thoughts and feelings of distress with the son now things have magnified and come to the wide open so there is no point in concealing so she confesses beautifully satyam suruchya abhihitam bhavan me yad durbhagaya udare grihita my dear son what your stepmother has said has pointed out is absolutely true you are born of the unfortunate me my womb and you know what is my position in this palace i am not even treated as a maid servant here your father feels that i am not at all his wife he is unable to say feel or claim openly that i am his wife stanyena vrdhascha vilajjadeyam bhaje diva vodhum idaspad idaspadarmam he always says suruji is his wife so far as i am concerned i have no place either in his heart or even in the palace and the whole palace knows about it so i am suffering from a lot of humiliation i am not given what is deserving to me my status as a mother as a queen in the palace so i am suffering perhaps much more than you do so what your stepmother has said is actually true yet durbhagaya udare grihita you were deposited in the most unfortunate womb of mine stanyena vrdhascha stanyena vrdhascha i have given you my breast milk i have brought you up i have grown you i have reared you but your father vilajjade he feels shy shameful to give me the position of your mother his wife a queen in the palace now what can be done satyam suruchya abhihitam bhavan me so in reality i have nothing to say against what your stepmother has said what she has said is really the truth in the palace the truth in the mind of your father adishtatattad vimatsarastvam uktam samatrabi yadavyaligam aradhayadho kshaja aradhayadho kshaja padapadmam yadi ichase adhyasana uttamo yatha my dear listeners i would like you to examine your mind as i said up to the point of receiving the child embracing him and consoling him maybe all you mothers and parents will do likewise but what sunidhi is going to say hereafter that marks the difference this is the message of shrimad bhagavatam at every point of time you should always think what is true and what is proper whenever you speak to your child interact with your child the yardstick should be whatever is good and elevating and promotional to the child that the mother and the father should say there should not be an ambition clouding your mind or your thought process whatever is good for the child that you should do the situation having been brought to light to this grave extent what can the mother do so she takes a very strong stand adishta tattad vimatsarastvam my dear son the way before you is very clear simply accept and heed what your stepmother has said vimatsarastvam don't allow any spirit of competition to enter your heart now uttama was given the lap you were denied so don't be jealous about uddhava don't be intolerant about him understand that your stepmother has disclosed to you confessed to you the actual situation in the palace knowing that this is so you have to find your way of redress i don't think you will ever gain ever get justice and propriety in this palace i am not given it i am denied it consistently by your father so how are you going to get it and see in the presence of the stepmother and in the presence of the father this has happened so you cannot expect any better treatment in the days to come so simply heed and follow what your stepmother has said uktam samatra abhi yadavyaligam 
though it is said by the stepmother understand that she has spoken about it without any falsehood deceit in an undeceiving manner she has said what she has said is alone the answer and redress for you so what do you have to do i also confirm aradhaya dhoksha japada padmam yadi ichchase adhyasana muttamo yatha if like uttama you have to sit on the lap of your father the father is not going to grant this the stepmother is never going to allow it so as she has said though she has said it in a different manner it appears to be true so far as i am concerned aradhaya adhoksha japada padmam you have to worship you have to meditate upon you have to propitiate the lord the supreme lord hari by worshiping his lotus feet yad ichcha se adhyasana muttamo yatha like uttama if you also have to sit on your father's lap this is the only means and the only redress there is nothing else this is the manner in which every mother should talk to the children whenever they meet a distress mind you very clearly i should remind you many many times the boy is only 5 years old when a child becomes 3 4 or 5 they are sufficiently sensitive to matters especially in regard to maternal and paternal affection its requirement need and the like at that time you should talk to them in a manner that is connected with their own objectives and needs tameva vatsashraya bhrutya vatsalam mumukshubhir mrugya pada abja paddhatim ananya bhave nija dharma bhavide manasya vastha apya bhajasva buhurusham you know these are all episodes on the one hand is a 5 year old boy and on the other hand elderly two people not two three people and two of them are eloquent now earlier it was suruji the co-wife now it is his own mother suniti now both, all the three are eloquent here and then shrimad bhagavatam has the same tone of philosophy it wants to instill into the mind of the leaders three items one is unflinching devotion to the supreme reality the lord sufficient dispassion to the fleeting objects of the world too and the three the knowledge and realization of god these are the three items which shrimad bhagavata propounds instills infuses imbues bestows delivers every time so this episode is used as a kind of a ground and the lesson is magnified there tameva vatsashraya bhrutya vatsalam mumukshubhir mrugya mumukshu mumukshubhir mrugya pada abja paddhatim these are all very beautiful and scholarly words with a lot of meaning very pregnant and profound words tameva vatsa ashraya bhrutya vatsalam my dear son tameva you depend and seek refuge under him alone my dear boy bhrutya vatsalam the supreme lord who is very affectionate towards his servants towards the devotees here is a father who denies his affection for you now there is the lord of the universe who is always ready to shower everyone who comes to him with superb affection so there is a bhrutya vatsala lord you only depend upon him look to him for the redress for the refuge for any kind of a fel- welfare and a felicity that you look for mumukshubhir mrugya pada abja paddhatim you know the supreme lord is one the seekers of truth the seekers of liberation are always seeking his feet and seeking his feet itself becomes a pursuit it becomes a perseverance it becomes a sadhana an endeavor for them so this bhakti towards the lord is not contained just in two letters bhakti it's not just devotion that devotion is a way of life devotion is a pursuit devotion is a perseverance devotion is a sadhana so the people who are yearning for liberation they take to this as a practical means to pursue and achieve their end ananya bhave nija dharma bhavide 
for this your mind should be purified your mind should be purified nija dharma bhavite it should be purified by dharma the codes and canons of righteousness and it should be say exclusively ananya bhave up to now you are in the palace you have me as your mother and at least for the name sake you have a father you also have an uttama to play with your stepmother of course has shown her mind to you now so in this palace at least a few people are there but hereafter no palace no mother no stepmother no father no uttama the cousin brother none of them will be there ananya bhave ananya bhave you must have exclusively the thought and reliance on god understand that god is a bhritya vatsala he is the one source who is always and wholesomely affectionate to his servants his devotees he will never land them in trouble he will never tolerate any kind of an injustice done to them there is one refuge for you mumukshubhi mrgya pada abja paddhadin it is not such a small lord elderly people grown up people advanced seekers who are interested in liberation always look to this as a process so i am going to ask you to go go take up this path of devotion and sadhana ananya bhave nija dharma bhavide manasya avasthapya bhajasva purusham fix the supreme lord worthy of being worthy of being sought by the advanced seekers of liberation keep him in your heart install him in your heart preserve him there never allow never allow him to get away from your mind bhajasva purusham he is the supreme person who is going to redress your grief and distress tameva vatsa ashraya bhrutya vatsalam mumukshubhir mrgya pada abja paddhadim ananya bhave nija dharma bhavide manasya vastha apya bhajasva purusham nanyam tadah padma palashalochanad dukkachidam te mrgayami kanchana you know why i am selecting these verses and reciting it for all of you you should understand the structure of shrimad bhagavata it's after all a masterpiece a paramahamsya samhita it's a compendium authored by veda vyasa maharshi you should understand how profound how lofty how elevating how pregnant and meaningful valueful are the words and messages he conveys nanyam tatah padmapalashalochanad dukkachidamte mrgayami kanchana as much as i have searched for i have looked for and i have found there is nothing else for you to relieve your distress this is the only one padmapalashalochanad the supreme lord these are all typical oriental expressions the supreme lord padma palashalochanad who has got eyes which are resembling the beautiful lotus flowers dukkachidam but those eyes a glance from those eyes will completely take away and remove attenuate all the grievance and affliction a devotee suffers from te mrgayami kanchana other than this i don't find anything in this world for you yo mrgyade hasta grihita padmaya shriye tarai ranga vimrgyamanaya he anga itaraihi vimrgyamanaya hasta grihita padmaya shriya ya mrgyade the supreme lord mahavishnu that parama kalyana nidhi the treasure of supreme felicity that parama kalyana nidhi lord hari he is always sought by whom by mahalakshmi and she is keeping a beautiful garland in her hand and she is always looking to put it on his neck so and this mahalakshmi herself is being sought by so many people so you can understand the worth the worth and the splendor of mahavishnu he is even rare for mahalakshmi and people are seeking mahalakshmi many people from all around and this mahalakshmi herself 
with a garland in her hand is looking for mahavishnu so that she may be able to put it on his neck such a great lord nanyam tadah padma palasha lochanat dukkhachidam te mrugayami kanchana other than this one source i have searched i am not able to find anything which will be able to satisfy and fulfill your wish evam sanjalpidam maduh agarnya artha agamam vachah sanniyamya atmana atmanam nischakram api duhpurad evam sanjalpidam maduh agarnya artha agamam vachah see how beautifully vedavyasa has couched the terms the references evam in this manner sanjalpidam agarnyam arthagamam vachah his mother has been talking to him for a number of days earlier but only now she has spoken to me in this kind of a touching and significant manner actually it is a kind of jalpana after all the mother was not happy at all she was more afflicted than the son to see the son coming to her with so much of lamentation and denial don't you think the mother's heart will be aggrieved all the more so she was speaking in an aggrieved prattle the words that she said the message they conveyed are very great and profound and meaningful so listening to that agarnya arthagamam vajah full of meaning the words sanniyam yatmana atmanam dhruva never spared or never waited for a second instantly he decided my mother has told me the circumstances in which she expressed her own helplessness and the unfriendly nature of the palace the unsuitable nature of the palace everything is clear to me having been told in this manner coming to know of the facts and the truths in this manner what shall i do there is no other way i am simply going to heed what my stepmother suggested and what my mother confirmed thinking in this manner sanniyam ya atmana atmanam whatever control was necessary from his own mind over his senses over his body that he mustered generated and applied nish chakram api duh purad not only from the palace from the big mahanagara of his father from the capital city itself he left he exited from the city i would like you to think for a moment see there are instances when the children are very much depressed for one reason or the other so the mother usually consoles the child we are a people who are very much concerned you know even if your children is taken in a school bus in the evening it does not come in time you start picking up the telephone and calling a number of agencies now here what is happening Sunidhi is telling the son my dear son you are only 5 years old your mind is suffering from injustice from your father and the palace and taunting words from your stepmother i can hardly do anything there is only one way one salvation when the creation fails when the visible world fails before you look into the invisible the creator so go to madhuvanam the dense forest of madhuvanam pray to the supreme lord remaining there alone make the whole prayer a full austerity and try to propitiate the lord he will never fail you he is abhishta doha abhishta doha he is the one who grants all the wishes of the devotees there is no other source in this world go with what extent of confidence sunidhi must sunidhi must have said this can you imagine we are also parents in this world you are parents as a parent will you be able to give this message to your child shrimad bhagavatam wants you to say it is easy to go to a temple worship the lord in the temple the idol in the temple and observe special days in the month or in the year all these are all right when it comes to facts and figures of our life to tell the son confidently you go alone be in the forest propitiate the lord with all the necessary austerity how much persecuting it may be and propitiate the lord and redress the distress you are suffering from lord.